strong. Hi everyone. This is Doc V for another lesson. In English 6, quarter 4, week 4, it is milk based and the topic is about adverbs of manner, place, and time. And before we proceed, please subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates of videos. Thank you! After going through this lesson, you are expected to compose clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures like adverbs of manner, place, and time. Composing clear and coherent sentences using grammatical structure is one of the important skills that a kid like you should know and develop. An adverb is a part of speech that provides description to a verb, an adjective, and another adverb. Adverbs of manner, time, and place are other types of adverb. They answer questions how, when, and where. They help us add detail to our sentences. Okay, so as we go on, we have another, uh, another types of adverbs. These are the adverbs of manner, adverbs of, adverb of time, and adverb of place. If it is adverb of manner, it answers the question how, paano ginawa ang action. Then if it is adverb of time, when the action is done. And if it is adverb of place, where the action is done. Okay? Good. Let us read, um, let us read the, okay, let us read and study the sentences below. Let us read, okay? All together, he patiently spent the whole night trying to prevent the flow of water from the dike. My family decided to have lunch at the beach. Then they were at the museum yesterday. I want to say this sentence says, look at this, patiently at the beach yesterday. So these are the questions, okay? How did he spend the whole night to prevent the flow of water from the dike? Okay, so in this sentence, he patiently spent the whole night trying to prevent the flow of water from the dike. So the question is how? How did he spend the whole night to prevent the flow of water from the dike? So it answers um, the question how. So the question, the, uh, and it answers the question, how, of course. So, he patiently spent the whole night trying to prevent the flow of water from the dike. And the next question is, where did my family decide to have lunch? Where? Okay, the, um, the answer is, my family decided to have lunch at the beach. So, the question here, where? At the beach. Then another question, when did they go to the museum? When? The, the answer is, they were at the museum yesterday. Okay? Good. Now let us read the selection. All together, let us read and look at those words that um, that were highlighted, okay? Let us read. Are you ready now? Okay, good. It is Sunday morning. Liana woke up early because 
Today is her birthday. She is so excited because their family will go somewhere. They happily prepared foods and packed all the stuff needed for the trip. They put them inside their bags carefully and checked it if they didn't forget anything. They waited patiently for some of her cousins before they go. Here they are! Mother exclaimed when she saw Cassie and Arya coming. At exactly 9 o'clock in the morning, they left home. They ride in a van. Liana quickly sits beside Arya because they love chatting and they miss each other so much. After 30 minutes of traveling, they are now in Monting Talau Talau Beach Resort, one of the newly developed resorts in Luzena City. They look around and see the beauty of the place. They swim, eat, and play. They had so much fun. They really enjoyed their stay in the resort. They went back home with a smile on their faces. Spending the day with family and loved ones is the best. For Liana, it's the happiest birthday indeed. So let us read the highlighted the highlighted words, okay? Sunday morning. Good. Today. Yes. Somewhere. Then happily. Okay? Inside. Carefully. Patiently. Here. Nine o'clock in the morning. Quickly. Beside. After. So, those are the highlighted words. Okay? Now, let us read and study some of the following sentences taken from the selection above. Like number one. It is Sunday morning. Liana woke up early. So, what is the highlighted word? It's Sunday morning. So, Sunday morning tells when Liana woke up early. Okay? And number two, today is her birthday. So look at again the highlighted word today. Today tells when her birthday is. And for number three, they happily prepared foods and packed all the stuff needed for the trip. Happily. So happily describes how they prepared foods. Okay? Next in line is number three. The family will go somewhere. Look at the highlighted word. It's somewhere. Somewhere tells where they will go. And number four, they put their stuff inside their bags carefully. So carefully describes how they put their stuff inside their bag. And inside tells where they put them. Okay, for number five, at exactly 9 o'clock in the morning, so 9 o'clock in the morning, they left home. 9 o'clock in the morning tells the exact time when they left home. And number six, Liana quickly sits beside Arya. So quickly describes how Liana sits beside Arya and beside tells where she sits. Now, children, what can you say about these highlighted words? Okay, good. They tell time, places, and how the action is done. Okay? So, these are the examples of admir adverbs of uh, time, adverb of place, and adverb of manner. Okay, you get it? So, Sunday morning, it, has, it is adverb of what? Adverb of time. Likewise, today. How about happily? It is adverb of manner because it describes how they prepared foods. And how about, and how about somewhere? 
Okay, so it answers the question where it is adverb of place and tells where they will go. And how about inside is another place and carefully how the action is done, right? Then 9 o'clock in the morning, it does also tell the exact time. So it is adverb of time. And quickly, adverb of manner and beside is adverb of place. You got it? Good. So take note, children, that adverb manner describe how the action is carried out in the sentence. We form adverbs of manner by adding ly to adjectives. Others, however, do not end in ly. Here are some rules in forming adverbs of manner. Rule number one. Adverbs of manner are formed by adding ly to the adjectives. Examples, brave, bravely, strong, strongly, sad, sadly. Okay, another, uh, this one is a sentence. Jenny went home sadly after hearing the news. For rule number two, when the adjective ends in y, change y to i and add L-Y. Examples. Busy. Busily. Lazy. Lazily. Hungry. Hungrily. And sentence. The branch has swayed lazily in the cold breeze. For rule number three, when the adjective ends in L, add L-Y. Example. Careful. Carefully. Peaceful. Peacefully. Dreadful, dreadfully, and the sentence there, sometimes I am dreadfully sorry for her. Now, these are the rules. Take note, children, ha? Pag ito ay adverb of manner, these are the, um, the rules for this. Pag, if an adverb of manner are formed by adding ly to the adjectives, right? So, they are formed by adding ly to the adjectives. Like this one, brave is, brave is an example of adjective, right? So, we add only ly for this. Okay? Strong, look at that. So, we add ly again. So, it becomes strongly, right? Sad, sadly. And for rule number two, to make it uh, clear, to make it clearer, if the adjective ends in Y, or when the adjective ends in, in Y, you have to change Y to I, then add LY. Ibig sabihin, papalitan mo ang Y ng I bago mo siya dagdagan ng LY. Look at this example. Busy. Busy ends with Y, right? So, what will you do? You have to change Y to I before adding LY. Likewise, with lazy. Lazy ends with Y, right? So, you have to change Y to I before adding L-Y. And also, hungry. Hungry ends with Y, right? So, what will you do? So, change Y to I before adding L-Y. You got it? And for number three, of course, if it ends with L, you have to add also L-Y. Likewise, this one, careful, it is an adjective, right? Careful, look at this, carefully, you add L-Y, even if the adjective ends with L, right? Peaceful becomes peacefully, dreadful becomes dreadfully. Naintindihan? Good. Another rule number four. When the adjective ends with L-E, remove the E and add Y. Okay, examples, understandable, understandably, terrible, terribly, humble, humbly. And the sentence, David is understandably reluctant to talk about his problems. And number five rule, some adverbs do not end in L-Y. They look the same as their adjective counterpart. Distinction between The distinction between the use of these words will defend. On what is being described. For example, 
if nouns are described by the words fast, well, or straight, they are the, therefore used as adjectives. However, if these words describe a verb, they are therefore considered adverbs. Okay? Example, fast, fast, well, well, straight, straight. So it depends upon the use of what they describe. Okay? You need to run fast if you don't want to miss the bus. Fast describe the verb run. Therefore, it is used as adverb. Carlo is fast runner. So fast describes the noun Carlo. Therefore, it is used as adjective. So adverb of manner are usually placed either after the main verb or after the object. It cannot be placed between a verb and its direct object. The incorrect, she ate greedily the pizza. So the correct one is she ate the pizza greedily. And another correct, she greedily ate the pizza. Is that clear? Good. So adverb of place tell where something is done. They also indicate both location and movement. This may be one word. Adverbs and adverbial phrases. One word adverbs, example here, somewhere, sideways, and the adverbial phrases like over here, over there, behind the building, around the yard. So let us analyze these examples, okay? Okay, the first one, who has traveled around the world? So what is the main verb here? Traveled, right? Then, how about around the world? It is adverb of place. Another one, I searched everywhere, but I didn't find any green stone. So, what is the main verb, verb here? Search. Okay, and uh, adverb of place is after the main verb, search. Okay, so, take note of this. Adverbs of place are usually placed after the main verb or after the clause that they modify. Okay? Another one. The boys must hurry. They are getting behind. So look at this. Another example. Their bus is tailing behind the big truck. Another prepositional phrase. Okay? So prepositions and prepositional phrases can also be used as adverbs of place. Ulitin ko ha, yung mga prepositions and prepositional phrases can also be used as adverb of adverbs of place. Maliwanag po? Okay. So now, adverbs of time Tell when an action happened and how long. Like adverbs of place, this may be one-word adverbs or phrases. Meron din siyang one-word adverbs like today, yesterday, tomorrow. How about the adverbial phrases like last year, two days ago, at 3 o'clock? Okay? So, these are examples for adverb of time. Ito yung pang-abay na pamanahon. Okay, so next. Adverbs that simply tells when are usually put the, at the end of the sentence. Like this one. Another one, if uh, the, the schooner say, uh, sailed the winter sea yesterday, I will talk to him tomorrow. They were at the sea for two days. Look at this. Okay, so adverbs that simply tell when are usually put up the end of the sentence. If the adverbs tell when, they are put at the end of the sentence. Like this one. The schooner sailed the wind 3 sea yesterday. And another one, I will talk to him when? Tomorrow. Then they were at the sea for how many days? For two days. You get it? 
Then, if these adverbs that tell when are placed at the beginning of the sentence, they emphasize the time element. Okay? So, again, if these adverbs that tell when are placed at the beginning of the sentence, they emphasize the time element. Like, later, a strong wind blew coldly and loudly. Now, the dollar trembles in fear. So, adverbial phrases that tell how long may also be placed at the end of the sentence for neutrality or before the sentence for emphasis. How long? Okay, so this is, when I say, these are adverbial phrases. Okay? Good. Now for learning task one, what will we do here? You compose clear and coherent sentences. Finish the given ideas by adding the missing part using adverbs of manner, place, and time. So let us read all together, okay? If you want to be successful. Number two, I was really surprised when I saw the lady in white gown. Then, she walks leisurely. Then, number four, the Grolier International Blank donated books for the learners of the Moint Elementary School. Then, the Skaters Blank. Jed ran. Then, Lena's dog wags its tails. Blank. Number eight, the postman delivered. Blank. Number nine, the employees stopped working. Blank. And number 10, blank, I celebrated my birthday at the farm. So, what will you do here? Sabi rito, you have to compose clear and coherent sentences using adverbs of manner and place and time also. So, try to have this. Uh, I'll, I'm going to give you the sample, okay? All you have to do is to make your own sentences regarding this learning task you got it okay let's start with number one like this one if you want to be successful plan your goal today so that is what is the missing adverb uh, what is the adverb there today it's adverb of time how about number two i was really surprised when i saw the lady in white gown last night <laughs> it is adverb of what Good, it's adverb of time again. Then number three, at the mall. She walks leisurely at the mall. It's adverb of place. Okay, good. How about number four? Willingly, the Grolier International willingly donated books to the learners for the Moet Elementary School. So that is adverb of Good manner. How about number five? The skaters are practicing here every morning. So here it can be a place and every morning it can be a time, right? Okay. Number six. Okay. Jen ran. Jed ran quickly. So quickly. It answers the question how Jed ran. Okay. Number seven. Mm -hmm. Lino, Lino's dog wags its tail continuously. How? It's adverb of manner. How about number eight? The postman delivered the mail somewhere. It's adverb of place somewhere. Then the employee stopped working blank early this morning. So this is adverb of time. And number ten... Yesterday, I celebrated my birthday at the farm. So, yesterday, it is adverb of time. So, these are the samples that you're going to um, answer. These are, these are only the samples, but you can make your own, okay? And for learning task 2, what will you do? You have to... Complete the sentences for letter A. Complete the sentences 
below using these adverbs a place and time so you have to choose your answers from the box here here are the the answers inside the box for number one to five okay for number one to five for letter a let's start with letter a let us read all together number one i do my homework blank number two donations for the community pantry will be distributed blank number three the wedding ceremony will start blank okay then number four field games were played blank and number five the school bus left at blank now let us answer this are you ready what is your answer number one okay so number one this is the answer how about number two what is your answer good it can be tomorrow next number three what what is your answer okay now how about number four what is your answer outdoors okay how about number five good 7 a.m now for letter b complete the following sentences with appropriate adverbs of manner write your answers in your notebook so we are asking about adverbs of manner and how the action is done right so let's start here number one let us read first okay samantha always finishes her assignment blank whereas jerome never finishes his assignment number two mark suddenly gets angry to frank he blanks throws the ball towards him number three the man was treated blank and accused of crime he never he never committed and number four the company should consider its employees before creating policies that would affect them blank then number five we must hold on to our faith blank so are you ready to answer this these are the sample answers okay for number one you can use early for number two angrily how about number three brutally and number five di uh, four deeply and number five is religiously okay you got it kids good And how about the learning task three? You have to find this, find and circle the adverbs of manner, place, and time in the puzzle. They appear straight across, up and down, down and up, and diagonally. Okay, let us find out now. Have you seen it? So you have to choose ten of them. Then write this in your notebook. Are you ready now? Okay, so have you seen have you seen ten uh ten words with adverb um adverbs manner place and time? Okay, good. Now let us start. Let us answer now. Okay, okay. It's gracefully. What else? Okay, below. So look at this below until here. It belows then okay loudly can be now yes today what else inside okay rapidly what else uh, gently what else later what else okay so those are examples sample <laughs> those are the answers and for learning task four you have to compose clear and co coherent sentences using the adverbs of manner, place, time that you found in the puzzle above. Diba, you have found a puzzle there, you have to make sentences. Five sentences. These are the sample. Okay? Okay, like number one, she dances gracefully. And number two, we're going to announce the winners today. What else? Please come inside and she kissed she kissed the hand of her grandma gently 
and then we will fully understand the reason behind it. So, what are the adverb uh, adverbs here? Gracefully, today, inside, gently, and fully. Do you understand? Good. So, now let us complete the ideas below uh, to sum up what you have learned in this lesson. Do this in your notebook. So, let us read first, okay? Adverbs of blank is another type of adverb that answers the question blank. It describes or modifies how the blank is done in the sentence. We form adverbs of manner by adding blank to the blank. Then, adverbs of blank tell where the something is done. They also indicate bought, blank, and movement. They may be one-word adverbs or blank. Adverbs of place are usually placed after the blank or after the clause that they modify. Then adverbs of time, blank, and action happen. And, and for how long? Adverbs that simply tell when are usually put at the end of the blank. Okay, so are you ready to answer now? Let us answer. Okay, so number one, what is your answer? Good. What is your answer? <laughs> Okay, it's manner. Then, the next one, how. Okay. Then, action. This time, L-Y and adjective. Let us read. Adverbs of manner is another type of adverb that answer the question how. It describes or modifies how the action is done. And the sentence. We form adverbs of manner by adding ly to the adjective. Now, now, the next one. What is the answer here? Good, it's manner. Then, it's location. Good, then. Okay, adverbial phrases. How about this one? Okay, main verb. Now, let us read all together. Adverbs of manner. Tell where this something is done. They also indicate both location, manner. This is not manner, by the way. This is a uh, adverb of place. Okay, let us. This is a uh, um, typographical error. It is adverb of place. This is adverb of place. Okay, tell where this something is done. Where? Huh? Adverb of place. They also indicate both location and movement. This may be one word adverbs like adverbial uh, adverbial phrases, then the main verb or after the clause that they modify. So again, children, you have to choose the you have to omit this and change this with adverb of place. Okay, it was typo typographic graphical error. Okay, okay. How about this one, the next one? It's adverb of blank. Let's find out. Adverb of times, tell when. Uh, it's correct. An action happened and for how long? Adverbs that simply tell when are usually put at the end of the sentence. Again, children, these are the correct answer, but you have to change this one into what? Good. Okay, I know you are very clever, so you know that this is not the correct one. Okay? So, pardon me with this. Okay, pardon me with that. Okay, how about this one? Letter A. If you were given a chance to travel or visit a place after the quarantine period, where will you go and where will you want to go? Why? So make a short paragraph using this the uh, using adverbs of place and time, then circle all the adverbs used. Do this in your notebook. So if this is my my sample only for myself, okay. So you can make your own make your own um paragraph regarding uh, what place, uh, where will you go after this quarantine period, and why? What's the reason? And you have to circle all the adverbs used, okay? Because these are sample. 
So I'm going to read it for you. I miss my father already, so I will go and visit my father in Maripipi Biliran. It's been a long time that I wasn't able to visit him. This is an island where I was born. You can see the clean beach that surrounds this island. The fishermen there uh, wake up early in the morning to catch fishes and sell them to the nearest barangay or barrio. Likewise, the farmers go to their farms as early as possible to plant fruit varying trees, root crops, and vegetables for their living. So, after, after, making, uh, after making a paragraph, you have to circle all the adverbs, right? So, these are the adverbs. The first one is adverb of place. It's Maripipi Biliran, right? Next, long time, it's about time. Then, what else? Island, another place. Then, beach, it's a place, right? Then, island, okay? What is next? Early in the morning, it's time. Then, barangay or barrio, it's a place, right? So, the next one, farm, is another place. It's early, another time. So, the, those are the examples. Okay, look at that again. Okay? Good. So this time, you form the given adjectives uh, into adverbs, submanner, then compose clear and coherent sentences. Do this in your notebook. Children, so these are adjectives. To make it in the adverbs, what will you do? You have to uh, change these adjectives to adverbs. Okay, so like here. I'm going to uh, change these five words into adverbs or adverb of manner, okay, by adding ly or look at this. So for healthy, it becomes healthily. Anxious, anxiously, good. Cautious, cautiously. Foolish, foolishly. And irritable, irritably. Now, for uh, four sentences, it's your time to think about sentences in these particular, in these adverb of manner. Okay, for you are, you're going to make your own sentence from number one to number five. These are the adverbs that, are you go, that you're going to use. You get it? Okay, good. So, kayo na ang bahala nito mga bata ha? Kasi nilagyan ko na yan ng tamang sagot ng pang-abay na pamaraan. So, kayo na lang ang gagawa ng pangusap dito. Kayang-kaya nyo yan. Napakadali lang nito. Okay? Kasi nandyan na. Na-change ko na yung um, pang-uri sa pang-abay. Nakuha niya? Okay. Good luck, kids! <laughs> And for that, thank you so much. And uh, please subscribe for those who are not able to subscribe yet. And click the notification bell for more updates of videos. Thank you, kids. Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye. Um,